Mallet, mallet, mallet. This is a piece of Kofi. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but I will put a link to the uh, Wikipedia page in the description. It is a poisonous wood, so Ned is not going to be in this video, as well as I'll be wearing a dusk mask. This tree was in a garden that was along a driveway, and it was hit by a moving van, and the root ball was ripped out of the ground. Apparently it's something that wood turners really love to use. I will tell you the end grain shows up just wonderful on this. But I don't have a lathe so I can't turn it so all the shaping was done with a draw knife and a spoke shape. I used a piece of paper to mark a straight line around for the bottom part of the head. And I sawed in about an inch all the way around. This is how I split most of the wood out from the handle. I actually did it to the real stock on the ground. It's important if you're going to use an axe to keep your hands away from it. For the shaping of the handle, I used a chisel to rough it out and then went back to the draw knife and a spoke shave to get it to the right size. I also used a Mora knife to whittle away where the spoke shave couldn't get to. There was also use of a card scraper or two to smooth out everything. For the carving, I used a marking gauge to mark bands around the top and the bottom, as well as the uh, counterweight. I don't know what you call the bottom part. And then I used simple hand chisels here to put in little divot shapes. I don't know what you call them. I'm sure they have a name. I don't know what it is. and I use a V chisel on the bottom. And I then came back with another gouge and put some edge decoration on it. So it could continue drying out correctly, I only put finish on the end grain parts of it. I apologize that this video is a little bit late. Um, this week has been full of me putting together another website, another portfolio site, so I can find another job. Um, I lost my one in the US finally. That's okay, we knew that was gonna eventually happen, so it is now time to find one over here. I did just do a carving, which I filmed, though I'll put it up like next Tuesday or something. A little fish from the beginning of the video using this and hand pressure. But this is, this is really nice to use compared to this, which is still nice to use, but you can see there's a lot more refinement done the same way. Um, this was a piece of firewood and this will probably someday, a lot of it will probably be a piece of firewood because it's just not wood that you can make into spoons or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe so you don't miss me making this next Tuesday or any other projects that I start carving more on. Please leave a 
thumbs up so that I have some motivation and please leave some comments to let me know your thoughts or how you did it. Again, eventually I'll probably make a spring pull lathe or try to lathe here and try to uh, make a better one because I am sure that this will split. In fact, I can guarantee it will split, but I'm okay with the rusticness of that and of this very interesting wood. The end grain on it is stunning. I can see why wood turners really like it. Um, so, all right. Hope you guys have a good week. Take care. My blonde wood shaving mullet. Party at the end of this video. Woo!